Welcome to the Daily Reminder Network. But Allah will tell you, every single person that has made an effect in this dunya was not a really great man before they became, became great. They were not particularly talented, not particularly educated, not particularly eloquent. They didn't need the permission of every, everybody. They didn't have the help of everyone as well. But Allah, they had one thing and one thing only. And that was a deep burning desire to achieve something. One day, the Prophet wasallam stood up in the depths of the night. It is authentically reported in Al-Bukhari that he raised his hands up to the heavens. And he said, Oh Allah, my Ummah, my Ummah. Ya Allah, my Ummah, my Ummah. Ya Allah, my Ummah, my Ummah. He couldn't say more than that. He couldn't finish his sentences because he was so emotional. Until the night passed and the last third of the night came. Until Fajr time came. And at that point, Jibreel alayhi salatu wasalam came down and said, Ya Muhammad, Ya Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, Allah has sent me and said, Ya Muhammad, your Lord will not disappoint you regarding your ummah. Your Lord will not disappoint you regarding your ummah. The question is, brothers and sisters of Islam, are we going to disappoint our Prophet Wasallam? Are we going to disappoint our Prophet Wasallam? Allah has promised our Prophet, He will not disappoint him regarding our Ummah. The question is us, are we going to otherwise not fulfill the promise of Allah and be a disappointment for our Prophet Wasallam? Be you of those people who fulfill his vision. Be you of those people who fulfill your love for Allah Azzawajal by pursuing the vision of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam on this earth. Everyone will say, I love Allah or I want to love Allah. However, certain things prevent them from proving their love for Allah Azzawajal. The first thing that prevents them is this negativity. I can't be that great. I can't prove my love to Allah. I've done too much sins. I'm not someone special. I don't have Islamic knowledge. I only know so little. I'm not from a great family. I'm not a great speaker. How can I truly do so many things? How can I prove my actions? How can I increase my actions in order to prove my love to Allah Azawajal? I'm no one special. But by Allah, you are special. You are special. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, when a slave stands in his salah and he says, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, Allah answers the slave back and says, my slave had, has praised me. So every time you speak to Allah, Allah speaks to you back. You are not a person in six billion. You are the person in six billion at that moment. Because Allah Rabbul Izzati Wal Jalal, despite looking after the affairs of creation has time for you. Oh my brothers and my sisters in Islam, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala pays attention to you. So my beloved brothers and sisters in Islam, do not be of those people who are negative about your love for Allah Azawajal. Be of those people who are positive about it. Every single time you feel negative, every single th time you feel you can't prove your love to Allah Azawajal. Remember by Allah, the Prophet Sallallahu was a very positive person. Be very positive about yourself. Be very positive that you can make a change. Be very positive that you will have an effect in changing the Ummah. Donate now. Go to www.thedailyreminder.org slash donate and stay updated by joining our network's social links.